Sunny, and today I am here to do an updated tag video. It's kind of a tag, I don't know. I don't really know what you would classify this. I've kind of been meaning to do an updated version of this for a while, and today was officially the first day of fall. Plus, I posted a picture of a new bag that I got on Instagram a couple days ago, and a lot of people were asking me to do an updated or a what is in my bag tag video. Really quick, just before I get started, I just wanted to show you guys my hair. I spent a lot of time doing this. I recrimmed my hair and I got a pretty sweet looking headband in my opinion. I don't know. I've been like trying to photograph my hair now so I think like too much sassy movement has kind of like, but look it's like some kind of Grecian leafy kind of Romanesque headband. I don't know. I really like it. I got it from Urban Outfitters today. So without further ado, I will show you guys what has started living in my new bag that I got about a week and a half, two weeks ago. So actually my bag, you guys are not even going to believe, it is called the Sassy Satchel. True story, morning glory. I got the opportunity to try out with like a little um, code gift certificate type number from a accessory website called shoplately.com. There's a lot of different boutiques on there. So I got this bag from a boutique called Glint and Gleam. It's the same place that my necklace came from, which I also posted on Instagram last week. So this stuff has kind of been trickling into my house. I had some credits to use, so I did get this bag for free from shoplately.com just to kind of sample out the website. I have to say I am impressed with it so far but that is not the point of the video. I may talk about that in another video. You never know with me. I really love this bag. I know some people may think it's ugly. Whatever. I'm into the whole kind of like southwestern kind of tribal look lately. So when I saw this bag, I thought it was really, really super cute. I thought it would go with a lot of my denim jackets and kind of like top and brown colored things. So I guess I will start with the object that is on the outside and that is my keys. I have some cute little keychains on here. This is my bone keychain that I got from an Etsy store. I don't remember what it's called though. I think it was like the scullery. Could be wrong though. I've had this for like probably close to a year if not over a year. I have a giant smiley face keychain that I found at the thrift store. I also have a really cool like super beat up old keychain now from the Body Worlds exhibit and I've literally had this keychain for I don't even know like eight nine years. Last but not least I have a Johnny Depp guitar pick keychain that was sent to me in Swamp Family Mail. Generally I always have a scarf with me all seasons. I tend to get really really cold and it's been in the 60s and high 50s here. I don't know we got kind of a crazy cold front for Houston in September. So it's been a little bit chilly. Right now I have this kind of like southwestern print scarf that I got from Target a couple weeks ago. Scarfy, barfy. Barf is gross. I don't know. Sometimes I wonder how it would feel to like live in a purse. Don't you guys think that would be exciting? Just to like be carried everywhere like a little baby kangaroo? No? Okay, I'm the only one. Yeah. All right then. Next I have a couple letters from you guys that I just picked up from my P.O. box today. So thank you to Sierra and Taylor, Ashley and Skylar. Those are the four letters that I have on me right now. Next I have a photograph from an antique mall. I just recently uh, went there so that's why this is still in my bag. I bought it because I thought it looked so gorgeous. This is from 1959 though. I paid a dollar for it. Next thing is a little sample scent card from Bond number no. 9. Right now it has their new Manhattan fragrance smell uh, smelled on it sprayed on it and I tend to always like leave one of the little spray sample cards in my purse because it makes my purse smell really really nice. 
bonus Jonas. Oh, I found another letter from Keisha. Thank you. So I have five Swamp Family Mail letters in my bag. Next, I have just like four random dollar bills just swimming around. I tend to always leave like singles just hanging out in the bottom of my purse. So when I go through like drive through to get a tea or whatever, I can just like not have to even worry about opening my wallet. I don't know. It's just something I do. Do you guys do that? Next, I have my Marc Jacobs little coin purse. I think that this was in my birthday haul. I got it from the Barney's New York outlet store. So I got this thing super, super cheap. I think it was like under $20. I don't even know. But I love like the weird kind of tie dye print that's going on here. I like it. There's just a little bit of change in here. Ah, sassy, sassy, sassy. Somebody told me to stop saying sassy so much. That's not very sassy. Next, I have a new Burt's Bees Rejuvenating Lip Balm that I have been trying out. And this has acai berry, acai berry. How do you say that? I don't know. There's a whole lot of accents going on right there, so I don't even know. I'm just gonna make it up. Acai berry. It tastes really good. Not like I go around just like compulsively eating on my chapstick, but you know, like if you subtly, accidentally like tasty waste a little bit. It tastes nicely. It smells nicely. And it rejuvenates the lips. So it does everything it says it does. Next is my honking kind of like weird looking sunglass case. They are Henry Holland for Les Specs and they are like purple, which is my favorite color. And I really like these sunglasses. Sometimes I even wear them like at nighttime or inside buildings because I like my world to look purple. Next I have my super teasy rat tailish kind of comb thing. I don't know what these like metallic tongs are for on the end, but I use this end with the little like brushy teeth for the extra volume and teasing. Next, I have my clean and co clean, clean, yeah, these things, which are my oil absorbing sheets. They come in really, really handy on hot days here on the swamp when your makeup just starts to become oily and grotesque. Next, I have some fresh cut character color. I'm going to be using this in an outfit of the day in October, which is going to be kind of like costumey. So I don't know, it may kind of be like a costume video, but I just stopped at the costume store the other day and got me some Ben Nye makeup, which hopefully isn't going to make my face melt off. I had a bad, bad experience with Halloween makeup a couple weeks ago, so... I'm hoping that will be an improvement. Next, I have what appears to be an empty container of gum. So, that's great. People always want to carry trash around, right? Next, I have my little hand sanitizer, which is actually in like a little keychain thing. <laughs> keychain sanitize your hands right now i have vampire blood in here because i love halloween vampire blood is my favorite scent that they came out with this year and it's actually like a plum scent which is i don't know it's kind of like unusual you don't really hear of too many like plum scented items so it smells really good though so. next i have a hunter s thompson finger puppet just everyone has this in their bag right <laughs> I got this from an Etsy store a couple months ago and every time I like switch a purse out he just kind of like lives there. I don't know, you know, like if I ever get like sad during the middle of the day I can just be like, hi, hello, feel better. Next is my wallet which currently clashes horribly with this bag. I bought this for another bag and uh, it's now living in this bag because I still love my super metallic extra silver wallet. Next I have a couple of pins. This is my all-time favorite writing instrument which is the Sharpie fine tip pin. This is literally what I write 99% of all things in but I had to have a fun pin too and this I don't even know what brand this is. Copic Sketch. My friend Cat Sketch sent this and a few other purple like marker magical type writing utensils 
to me for my birthday so one end is like a chisel tip and then the other end is just like a regular brushy kind of tip but it's a really pretty color then I have a pair of earrings that I got the other day at the thrift store I still haven't like worn them or clean them or anything but they're these really cute like southwestern looking like square earrings I don't really know what you would call these little babies but they were a dollar and a quarter because I got them half off on half off day next is a lipstick that Tarte sent me to try out I think they sent these to a lot of YouTube vloggers actually but I'm really really digging them and I love this shade in particular they are the Glamazon Amazonian lipsticks they're kind of matte too so I love matte lip products so this is in the shade playful and it's kind of like a nice mavra shade I think I wore this in a video a while back but I forgot to mention it or I don't know a photo somewhere I really like it it's a great shade for the fall so it's just chilly chilling in my bag for a little bit next I have some headphones they're pretty standard like skull candy but I always like to keep headphones on me for when I'm out thrifting or mall walking shopping whatever so I can listen to my own music on my iPhone if I want to okay it appears I have another finger puppet so quite apparently this is just a purse of finger puppets but I started shopping the other day for Halloween stuff to put in my little Halloween treat bags I spend like literally two months shopping for treats to put in the treat bags for the trick-or-treaters and the other day I was at the dollar store and they had like those little bags of like miscellaneous Halloween toys you know with the bugs and the rings and stuff in them and this little guy was too cute to give away so I must have just like dropped him in my bag and not even thought about it but it's like a jack-o-lantern and he's got these little hands and he's like waving them in the air so joyfully last but not least I have this lovely lovely stretch bracelet that came to me in swamp family mail it's gorgeous once again it has a total southwestern vibe a bunch of different colored beads that is it there's kind of like almost yeah no it's definitely barbed wire that's so weird the print inside this bag is like a barbed wire print like sateen I don't even know it's cool I like it so that's it my bag is now empty look at the tassel tassel for the zipper pull so exciting the other thing that I would normally have in my purse is my iPhone this is my iPhone 5 I don't know you guys I'm going to the Apple store tomorrow to make sure that there isn't something wrong with the camera but I finally got my Instagram app to work again so yeah Sassy. that is it and I hope you guys enjoyed this video I know that these are some of my favorite kinds of videos to watch on YouTube like especially when I'm looking for new YouTube people to subscribe to so yes look this would make such a freaking sweet backdrop so much cooler than a towel bar maybe I should hang this behind me or is it too Tropicana I don't know too much going on ah I don't know uh you tell me so if you want please take a minute to subscribe become a member of the swamp family whatever that was uh become a member of the swamp family I would love to have you here leave me a comment down below I love to read you guys's comments let me know if you can tell I tried this new thing out on my lips with my lipstick today where it's kind of like a gradient where it's lighter on the inside and dark on the outside I don't know if it's it's working or not I don't know if it translates on the camera or not so just let me know down below also a super helpful thing that would be super great is if you follow me on Instagram already or if you don't you could and then let me know if you follow me at graveyard girl same way it's spelled here you guys let me know like for the rest of the weekend the next couple days I'm going to be using my new iPhone 5 to shoot all the pictures that I'm posting let me know if it looks grainy or weird or whatever I don't know I think that maybe I got like a lemon iPhone 5 and the camera isn't working quite up to par I don't know if you follow me there you can let me know the other thing is Facebook facebook.com slash graveyard girl or Twitter Tumblr at graveyard girl and I will see you guys later bye